Good morning, afternoon and evening my crazies. My name's Angela and I'm the Crazy Poppy Lady. So, today I thought I'd pop on and find out how you guys are all coping with chasing down all us fairies. It's been absolutely amazing the response that we have all received from all of you guys. We are so happy that um, that you've you've managed to find us all and hopefully you've found some channels that you'll um, like and you like the content and you'll find loads of new patterns and things like that. I also want to do the biggest, fattest, massive, humongous shout out to Dana. If it wasn't for you, honey, none of this would have happened. None of us would have had so much fun. None of us would have gone a bit stir crazy with fairy talk. Um, and I absolutely think you're brilliant. And the puppy's so cute too. Thank you. Right, so as you all know, uh, Kim was my winner and her name has been forwarded on to Dana now. So that's my part done for a little bit until it's time to send out the winner, the prize. Now, I've got absolutely everything crossed for, my, for Kim, especially seeing as uh, she's managed to win a secondary ticket on another channel. So that gives her a bigger percentage. So fingers crossed for her, everyone. Um, now, she, Kim also knows that she will be getting a gift from me, but because I'm such a tight ass, I'm trying to save on postage, which means I can then move from a package to a box. So, fingers crossed she definitely wins this, because then she'll be getting the box of um, bits and pieces. Um, but if not, she'll, her, her prize will be going at the same time as the actual fairy winner. So, happy news for the week. Um where to start right okay number one i think is i was watching through all of the fairy videos sitting there hoping that my winner got an extra ticket which she did um and i was watching through brown owls crochet fun because her video was only short and sharp so i was like right i'm gonna let that one play so i'm sitting there and she calls out a winner and i was like brill for the winner typing brill for the winner into the computer as most of us did and then she calls my name and I'm like eh. and she was like this is my chosen fairy so she's actually chosen to send me something as a thank you fairy prize which is really really shocking considering she's on the other side of the world so when we were messaging I was saying to her you can get out of it YouTube stitched you up the comment picker stitched you up I'm on the wrong side of the world babe it's gonna cost a bomb but she's decided she's still going to send me a little something and it best be little missy otherwise i'll get grumpy <laughs> right but so i was like i'm super chuffed it would be really cool to see if there's sort of a mad crazy stamp or something on the envelope but we just have to wait and see once that arrives then i'll um, show you all as well if she says i'm allowed to hmm. oh and uh, my reaction when my name was called I look like Kevin from the Home Alone films, something a bit like this. <laughs> so I thought I'd share that bit with you as well. I'm also going to pop a link down to um, Brown Owl's YouTube page um, for one of her videos that came after the announcement. It's a beautiful story in there, absolutely gorgeous story. Now, also, you know that I announced recently the winner to the sunshine the word sunshine which was in the whips and bits volume 10 video now our winner for that was silver fox loves yarn so we've been having a bit of an email backwards and forwards so i can get to know the sort of things that she would like now she has a box going out as well um that will hopefully be with her early next week but it's a surprise box so i'm gonna have to be really evil to you all i have recorded a video showing you all what's in the box but of course i won't be showing that until i know it's arrived because i don't want to spoil the fun right so now we've got a couple of photos coming up now the first one is from sabrina her link will be included down below she has used the crocheted cupcake square to make a bag have a look. Mm. 
I was in shock when I saw that. I wasn't expecting a um, drawstring bag. I was expecting like a market style bag, sort of two squares stuck together <laughs> and a couple of um, arm holy bits. But I am loving the choices of the yarn and especially the creativeness with the stitches um, on the back panel that she's done. It's absolutely gorgeous. Might have to uh, ask her for the pattern changes so that I can make something myself. <laughs> On to my next little bit. Thank you very much, uh, Madonna Ballard, for um, announcing my sunshine winner on my on your episode of YGN number nine. I've put the link to that down below. And finally, um, this is a cheeky uh, screen grab. Um, well, the photo it was used as in the tester card, so I can't be that naughty, can it? I'll let you decide. So thank you for that Charlie. Um, now Charlie is Christmas on Crestline. He is one of our lad fairies. He's, I love him to bits. I think he's brilliant. He's proper perky. <laughs> he's going to tell me off for that. Maybe, maybe not. Because he lets me get away with being a bit cheeky on his lives. Um, even when I, I make absolutely no sense at all. He just goes, all right girl, try again. So thank you very much charlie that was absolutely brilliant now i'm going to put a link into charlie's channel down below it's going to be his late one of his latest videos that's gone up i believe he's doing an unboxing so be warned there may be bright flashing lights what am i talking about might be flashing lights that's just off there's bound to be flashing lights it's a christmas flashy house a little update on um, the promised next tutorial which is the hat and scarf set with the little emblem on it yeah I wish I hadn't said nothing now <laughs> um, I've I've got an idea in my head I've managed to get it out as far as a chart for paper so I know what I'm doing um, but it's finding the right stitch pattern at the moment I've gone through the basic stitches, I've even popped over to Fiberfox Studios and had a go at the mosaic art using that chart, but because of the colour choices that I'm using, it's um, you can see the, the yarn that you're not working with, so it's not working for me yet, I'm still working on it, I'm still doing little squares, I'm going to have a massive blanket of mucked up squares at this rate, but hey ho, I'm going to... Um, so I'm still working on it, still trying to find the right stitch that's going to hold its own for the pattern. You'll understand it when I finally get it out. Right, so I'm going to head off now because I think I've uh, talked your ear off long enough yet again. So, goodbye everybody. Stay in if you can, stay safe. ta -ra for now. Right, so without further ado, Amal. Right, so let's get on with today's um, oh, brain cell fart moment. I've also um, popped a link down below to my, my brain, uh, brain, that would be good wouldn't it, if I had one. <laughs>